Hi guys, it's Edward. Tea is a great drink. It's also my passion. Here, I want to share my tea experience with you tea lovers. It's my first video, so I want to start with how we humans encounter this great drink, or the tea discovery. You ready? Let's do this. Hmm, it's nice. This is a raw puer from Myanmar. This has been aged for a couple of years. How Okay, back to the topic today. Tea discovery. It took thousands of years for tea to evolve from a wild leaf into the second most popular drink of the world, second only to water. And much of the world's art, culture, religion, history has been greatly influenced by tea. So who discovered tea? Who put the first tea leaf in their mouth? Or who first infused water with tea leaves like this? Well, I guess there's no answer to that. And people may have different opinions about the origin of tea, like was it from Assam in India or Yunnan province in China? To be honest, I don't care that much. And culturally, it seems most people agree with the Chinese fairy tale that Shen Nong, the so-called god of agriculture, was the first human being that discovered tea. He doesn't seem handsome today, but I believe he should be in his era. So when was his time? You know, the use of tea started much earlier than we have any historical records. And during the Warring States period in Chinese history, between 475 BC and 221 BC, there were around five books talking about Shen Nong's story with tea. The story takes place well before any recorded Chinese history, and he is said to have lived between three to two thousand years BC, or about four to five thousand years ago today. No wonder the original version is in Chinese. Here it comes. Shen Nong Chang Bai Cao, Yi Ri Yu Qi Shi Er Du, De Tu Er Jie Zhi. Here Tu is an old name for tea. This record in English means Shen Nong consumed hundreds of herbs, and one day he met seventy-two poisons. When he discovered tea, he was finally cured of those poisons. One interpretation is. He tried to save his people's lives by consuming various herbs to discover their medical benefits. While doing so, he stumbled upon tea. Another interpretation of the story is he was severely poisoned while experimenting with herbs, and later he died next to a tree. Miraculously, a stream of water passed through the tea leaves fallen from the tree, and the tea infused water. Flowed into his mouth, then he was cured of poisons. Whichever story you believe, tea has been used for thousands of years by people, and possibly for more than five thousand years. Even today, not all the health benefits of tea are known. Crediting a god gave the detoxification and other health benefits of tea more acceptance to the public. Okay, that's all for the fairy tale. Now let's talk about the fact. Here is an archaeological evidence about tea discovery, and I want to share. Actually, there are many of them in the southwest of China or Assam state in India, even Laos or Myanmar. But this one is not anywhere close, but in Zhejiang province of China. Now let's draw a map of China, like 
this um, the island of Taiwan and uh, in China we have a river called Changjiang or Yangtze River and this is the city of Shanghai to the south of Shanghai there is a province called Zhejiang province is spelled like that H E J I A N G in Yuyao City, Zhejiang Province, seven kilometers north of Hemudu, a well known Neolithic site, lays possibly the oldest tea cultivation site in the world, the Tian Luo Shan site, literally means the mountain of field snails. In the year of 2012, the Zhejiang Institute of Archaeology took charge of the fifth excavation at Tian Luo Shan site. Surrounding the residential area of the site, they unearthed many intrusions, which turned out to be cultivated camellia plants. These are some pictures from the Tian Luo Shan site. Um, this is a container. It looks like a teapot. Hey? This is the excavation of a possible tea plant root. According to some authorities, scientific testing of the plant intrusions as the site showed they were the earliest cultivated tea tree remains in China. This discovery likely extends Chinese tea history to 6,000 years ago, which means the discovery of tea may stretch back even further than Shen Nong's fairy tale suggests. Here I want to recommend an academic paper published by a Japanese researcher, uh, forgive me if I pronounce this wrong, Professor Shinichi Nakamura from Kanazawa University. The paper is called Archaeobotechnical Study of Neolithic Sites in China, Sheds Lights on the Origin of Lacquer and Tea Use. OK, that's all what I want to share about tea discovery, a fairy tale about Shen Nong, the god of agriculture, an archaeology discovery at Tian Luo Shan site. OK, that's all for this video. I hope you like it. Please leave a comment about what you like or don't like about this and feel free to share this with other tea lovers. I'll see you guys next time.